Okay, so I'm just looking at the Bolins here. Uh, just looking for what I need to get a snowblower on her. So this is pretty much all I have. So here's the snowblower. You guys can see the bearings missing off the shaft. So that has been boogered all back up there by the old owner. So the idea is I'd want to weld a new plate right across their drill hole. Make it look better. Coming to supervise. Lily, don't touch it. I don't want to touch it. He's running crooked and falling over an awful lot. This, I bet you I crushed him by accident moving stuff. He's so tiny. He's like half the size of a normal mouse. A quarter of the size. Look at how short his tail is too. Lily. Oh, he's so cute. Look at his little ears. Done. What do you mean? He's right here. See? Wait, where are you? He doesn't even have his eyes open, does he? Yeah. Well, wherever he came from, which is probably this pile over here, that I was just pulling out parts for the bowl in, I bet you there's a lot more of them. <laughs> hmm. That's kind of interesting. Okay, so today is, oh, what's it, uh, September 10th or 11th, I don't know. Some people are talking about 9-11 stuff, so it might be the 10th. Well, it's uh, a Thursday, yes. I'm out here on a Thursday doing projects, so had some stuff to take care of in the city, so it feels weird having, like, a Thursday off. So anyway, just going through the horde, I uh, started cleaning out this area. I had a whole pile of wood there I moved. Uh, right to the very back. The rafters that were here, I chopped them all up for bits and pieces, you can say. Still got those old steps and a few other things to move. The idea is to let this grow in as good as possible. So, uh, still going through all this stuff here. Uh, kind of getting the idea of playing around with snow blowers right now because uh, we could get snow again as soon as, what, a week or two? Uh, we had one day where it went down to zero, so we get snow at around that temperature. So, I got uh, four sear snowblowers. Uh, this one here, I do got the back parts for it and everything, but I mean, you can see it's been well beat. <laughs> I say, I'm taking that back. I got five Sears snowblowers. So, that one there is kind of an ugly oddball duckling one, you could say. <laughs> Uh, but I got this one here, I got this one here, I got the black one from like five years ago in the city. I have uh, one on that SS-16. So, this one here is fully complete. Uh, I'm looking here, it does have some cracks. You can see right underneath the, the drive system there, it's cracked. They all do that. They all, every one of these snowblowers crack up so many places. Uh, very common. So you can see that one's been booger welded up. <laughs> so, and then there's this ugly duckling here. I even got the plow sitting in the sand there. Uh, so this one here is a unique one. I think this one here works out to, what did I measure it at? Uh, I just measured them all, but it's uh, like four inches bigger than these two here. Uh, I also got uh, one here for the bowl ends. This one here is a... Uh, it's a 46 inch, uh, so it's a pretty uh, huge one. So I'm just going through all the parts here, taking a look at what I'm missing, what I need. It's missing the bearing assembly there. And it's uh, booger welded up very badly. So my idea is if I ever wanted a chance of getting this one going again, is I'm going to have to probably grind all that down, weld a plate right inside there to beef up that bearing support. Uh, Looks like the mounting bracket and everything on this model here is proper for this tractor. Looks like these guys here are going to fit right in between those guys there. This guy here will fit right into the very back on the hydraulic cylinder for the lift. It's a little worn out on the tractor itself where that lift goes in on the cylinder. Check that out. Ooh, out of focus, out of focus, there you go. Look how worn out that is, so I'd have to weld something in there. I guess that's the front of it right there, which is out of focus again. But this here would be the PTO shaft. 
which uh, just connects to this uh, electronic clutch on the front of the engine here. Yes, this thing here, this tractor has a Briggs and Stratton V-twin in it. I bought this guy last year, and believe it or not, I never even tried to start it. Uh, the, I bought all this stuff from a guy that uh, passed away. His son was selling everything, so bearings in there seem to be good. I don't see any way to grease that. No, looks like it's non-greasable. Uh, so, sealed bearings anyway. Looking at the universal joints I have, I definitely need to get parts. Uh, this one here is missing one of the end caps here, which is out of focus again. So it's missing one of the end caps. This one here is a universal style, which is greasable. And uh, it fits on this side. But if I want to use it on this side here, it looks like I'm going to have to uh, cut a groove or something. And uh, so I would also need to get a pulley that fits onto the spline shaft on this side here. So that might be a little tricky to find. I'd have to get a pulley for it. The shaft, I did verify everything straight on there. Uh, then on this side here, it goes to what looks like a, what's that, a one inch? It's not labeled in, it looks like a one inch. And, uh, and then it goes from a chain drive, which I'm guessing from this sprocket here to this sprocket. Now, this, I found this stuff by searching, uh, the old barns and stuff around the guy's house, uh, the mule drive, all these parts here were not with the tractor. Hell, the snowblower wasn't even with the tractors. So I had to go around. I had to do some uh, fishing for parts, you could say. I might even go back and give the guy a little bit of a call. See what I could find. But I bought the whole snowblower assembly for 20, 20 bucks. Uh, the PTO I got when I bought the tractor. Uh, I also got the mower deck for this tractor. I see a ground squirrel running by. They are crazy right now. And including some other stuff so uh, here's the mower deck right here it's missing the main spindle assembly for it so I do got a big pulley which I don't think is right over there in the center of the screen pretty sure that's an engine pulley but I got the mower deck for it here I got the, I found the covers uh, when I went back and uh, they're the right ones so again a lot of this stuff here involved walking around and searching his uh, his yard which was huge also got that mower deck from him to plow from him the rear grader blade and i think the tractor or diesel yeah i got the diesel from him and a bunch of other parts or no not the diesel i got ella not ella yeah i guess ella my girlfriend calls her that that tractor which i just robbed the transmission out for the loader uh so again this machine here it turns over it has oil in it i have not tried to boost it i have not hooked a battery up to it uh that tire, I swear, wasn't flat two weeks ago when I moved it, uh, but maybe it was. All I did was oiled it up to get the hydrostatic pedal working. The brakes work good. Uh, whew. So, the idea for today is I just wanted to verify what parts I would need if I wanted to continue doing this here. I got to make sure that none of this is cracked up. Because if it's cracked, I mean, I could buy one on eBay. I've been looking for parts. I did find some parts on eBay, but wow, they're a small fortune. That has a hood stop somewhere. Well, no, it doesn't. So it's just dangling there. So I'm looking at this. It's a Briggs & Stratton V-Twin 20 horsepower, which just happens to be the exact same engine that I got in this guy here, which would be kind of awesome to have the same engine in both tractors so I can just, you know, stock one spare set of parts. <laughs> uh, so again she'd been sitting a long time I have no idea how the guy has the PTO shaft properly hooked up to the engine if it's done proper uh, I got this guy up here which looks like a weird ass hermit crab but realistically it's a giant spider I mean like it's big so <laughs> uh it's kind of why I'm looking at it out here before I bring it in the tent shed. I don't want that guy in the tent shed. So I was looking at the the fuel cap. It's all blown apart. Uh, the battery. I'm not even going to try that battery. Uh, I did want to see if I could find a date on it, but it's a Costco battery. I bet you the date tag's not scratched, but it's up there. 
Uh, guaranteed needs an air filter. I tried robbing it out of here and it was pretty shitty. Steering linkage here. I gotta look over that, but I'm pretty sure that's uh, all flapping loose. I was looking at the rust on the bottom of this guy here. Uh, it's pretty rusty, but nothing looks really that bad yet. Uh, the inside of the auger, that, all those bearings actually seem to be good. But you guys can see it has been welded up in quite a few different spots here. Uh, she is definitely going to need a little bit of TLC. I don't want to just put up the booster cables and start cranking on her yet. I kind of want to jack it up, of course, being hydrostatic and uh, check over her properly. We'll see. Okay, just went in and scared the crap out of Liliana with it. So the spider's making some weird squeaking noises. It's almost like it's growling at me for some reason. Gee, I wonder why. Uh, so I plan to pressure wash the bowl lens, by the way, which is very out of focus. There you go. I plan to pressure wash it, so, you know, can't really leave this on here. Uh, I was actually just saying that I thought this one made like a, a ground web, but no, that's her web right there. Any babies in the hood? No? Hmm. Yeah, I was thinking that maybe that might not be her web, so. But that... That's a big ass spider. I like spiders. Maybe not when they quake get this big. So it's back where she came from. Okay. Ooh, look at all that mold and moss. She'll love that, hey? Look at the size of that thing, hey? Am I creeping anyone out yet? Just watch her freaking jump right up onto me. Ooh, look at those fangs. She seems a little angry, hey? Don't you jump on me. You jump on me, you're going to get a foot. I'm being nice right now. <laughs> Just think moving stuff around. You kind of wake up stuff. <laughs> the water from the bottle I dumped out. Okay, well, I guess back onto this. Uh, again, I'm going to be degreasing it, washing it. Uh, I hate working on and even trying to start anything that looks like that. So, dusty, dirty. Yeah, there's even a bungee cord across on it. <laughs> Get back to you guys in a bit. And I did not mean to do... Ugh, I did not mean to do that. Too many beers. And, of course, anyone new to my channel who hasn't seen a video a few weeks ago, uh, this is the other one I have here. And, of course, like I was saying, I do have one one more in the city. So, the seat here will probably stay on this tractor. But the uh, snowblower looks good, but, again, cracked in the same spot. They all crack in here. And it's also splitting all the way down the side here. So, and of course, there's a lot of electrical wire and crap shoved in her. So, yeah, it's kind of weird to send. Oh, oh, it, uh, it's kind of weird. That's all painted up, but the guy gave it a brush paint job. <laughs> but I know the one I got in the city, the bushing in between there is shot. And this one here seems to be good. Okay, so remember, I never ever painted the Sears loader. Uh, watch how easy this comes off. Oh, how am I going to do this with one hand? Uh, maybe like this. Anyway, it takes off the old paint that was uh, flaking and literally falling off. Uh, I don't know if that puts meant to be silver or not, but uh, giving her a good bath. You can actually see the Sears logos on the side now. So this side here, you can see it's taken off a lot of the paint, but the paint that was on it was shot. It was literally flaking off and it was like, I don't know, sun baked big time. Okay, so putting in the next set of holes here. Just got that guy in. They're all going in loose enough that we can adjust as we need to. And I think we might have a little bit of a bee problem here. Oh, yeah, sure. I pulled the camera and they all disappear, hey? 
Yeah. They all they all kind of disappear. So freaking yellow jackets everywhere. I don't see a nest in here at all, but they're getting a little angry at us because uh yeah. We're pretty close to them. Let's see if I can zoom in on one of the, them. Probably not, eh? <laughs> Okay, so never made much of a video here. So got these in. Again, they're all loose in the ground right now, but they're solid. This is going to represent the door frame. I need to get another pressure treated to go across the bottom there. <coughs> Those are just in for now. So the idea is another 2x4 is going to be cut in between here. And then it's going to be framed up here. This will be cut out because, of course, my head... well. That's about level with my face. My nose would hit right there. So, <laughs> got to do some trimming there. I'm also going to be bracing it up here, across here. And uh, once the roof rafters are up, it'll hold it a lot more solid, you could say. Uh, top of every one of these beams, I'm going to be putting a 2 by 4 right across the top. It will be framed in the middle, kind of the same idea as this here, right to the ground. Some of these poles are pretty... Uh, you could say punky you could say but that's all we're able to get right now so they very limited supply these are just temporary holding them together so they don't move on both sides there but i'll get back to you guys after see what gets done okay so just the other day i went and cut up all those rafters into scrap wood and now we need scrap oh damn it that hole's going to get me at again so now we're bringing all of this back up front, even though I just brought it all back here on the loader. <laughs> so, I wonder how good this wood is. It looks like oak or something. Hmm. I don't know, but that's beautiful wood. That's what I was thinking, turning it into a chair seat or something. I've got a couple places that uh, you could do that on tree stumps. And yeah, stuff. that's the same stuff they used underneath the mobile home to hold it up. So somewhere up front there's a, oh, under here maybe. Or maybe I didn't. Where's... Oh, yeah. There's the two pieces over there still. Uh, pressure treated. We'll bring a few of those up. There's still those ones. A few more to go through here. It sucks. I just hauled this all back here. Now I'm hauling it all back literally two days later. Well, didn't do anything on the Bolins, even though I had plans to. Ended up uh, spending a little bit of time on these projects here. <laughs> so, used a lot of scrap lumber. So got some left there, but basically what I've been doing, or we've been doing, is using all the scrap pieces we can, kind of framing where the door is going to go, and of course that beam still right where it hit my head, but uh, we're probably going to leave it, but been putting in these guys here, kind of stiffens up the wall a little bit, still loose at the top here, as you can see from the way they're flapping, but that's going to be covered in gravel. Now the idea is I'm going to be running another 2x4 right on the top here. It's going to be laying flat, so it's going to be like an L bracket. These are where the rafters are going to sit all the way down to the ground. So there's going to be rafter there, 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 and there. Should be fine. It's just a greenhouse. Uh, we're still deciding if we want to go, what kind of roof we want to go with. But I'll probably go 2x6 and still thinking either peaked roof or maybe just slanted. If I go slanted, it'll be the same idea as the shed. Might be better if we decide to put some solar on top of these later. So, I don't know. It's kind of straight. <laughs> straight enough anyway. <laughs> so other than that, nothing else went on. Happened this weekend. Still a huge mess in the yard, but got to get the greenhouses done. Girlfriend says I can't even do anything in here until I get her greenhouses done. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I guess that's it. Roxy, come on! Get out of there! You can't eat that. Oh, frost. Everything's all frosty. It's all frosty and cold. Get out of wire, poo-poo. <laughs> it's a cold one, that's for sure. <laughs> I just turned around, went past it, but there's a little bear here, so this guy has been hanging around here for the last, uh, oh, three, four weeks, so I just want to see if I can, see if he's still here, he should be up ahead right after that black pole right there, so, 
and then his cart behind me but yeah he's still here he's not afraid of anything hey hello bear hey what you chewing on okay well maybe pictures would be better right now because <laughs> Okay, well, digital zoom there doesn't look the best, but just thought I'd come back. <laughs> you can see I turned around and I was going pretty quick, but I whipped around to get a footage of that. Everything was so frosty this morning, so I'm actually surprised that he stood there. Anyone looking for a bear? There's a stupid one over here. <laughs> so, okay, I just thought I'd get a quick shot of that guy. <laughs> 